Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another Mechamasumo build. Have not done one of these for a while. Uh, what got me into wanting to do it is it's the Mecha Workshop Model Club's 10 year anniversary at an event a few weeks ago. And we had a challenge to uh, build a kit that uh, you started, attempted, uh, did on the very first session that you've um, joined the club. And mine was the OV-10A uh, Bronco by Academy. Now, unfortunately, uh, that kit didn't turn out too well and was um, abandoned and partially uh, thrown out. So, going to take some uh, revenge on it, but as I'm not in the mood to deal with an Academy aircraft kit, I decided to uh, slap it onto this figure. Straight off the bat, I've removed the safety swim ring from underneath her arm to go around her waist. A rare earth magnet was attached uh, right onto the lower back and the inner tube of the ring. It happens that this ring uh, does fit quite snug and comfortably um, over her legs and over the hips. This next bit was a little more complicated, though still not too hard as it makes sense where the parts snap or glue together. The academy instructions were thrown out by this point, and the two side uh, hulls for the propeller engine were assembled, wings attached, and the rear tail. Uh, little sections were cut out approximately the size of the tube according to some panels and filled with milliput so the gap is just open enough to fit over the swim ring and with the tail a bit of tension to stay there snapped without um, glue or magnets. Originally this was to be magnetized on but just balances so well without sign of breakage. Now for the fun bit. I want her bathing suit to look like it's uh, quite uh, bulky, surplus, uh, military, cold war, baggy clothing or uniforms from, um, you know, Vietnam era photos of uh, people with gear or early Gulf War look. So I've got a lot of the random mechanical bits, uh, little handrails, uh, cockpits, missile pods, any sort of small interesting um, detail and pipe work, especially in symmetrical sets were chopped out, chopped up and glued in certain parts to uh, look like the backpack is uh, rigged across her body to equalize our uh, weight and there's uh, some sort of control mechanism in her panties as uh, <laughs> amusing as that sounds. A lot of these pieces were just cut off the runner, uh, cleaned up, test fitted and if it fits well super glued straight in place if not a series of uh, knives files saws any sort of cutting or sculpting tools would shape and contour that piece to fit to the body right even if a pinch of uh, putty is required the rest and leftover of the detailed bits were used on the swim or uh, safety ring there was a couple of dimples uh, molded for where it's being held under the arm uh, that was uh, milli putted up and some uh, parts uh, marked off to where the aircraft bit is uh, going to glue on. The aircraft itself had a couple of uh, prominent seams. Uh, even though this was glued and sanded in a very basic way with uh, a light uh, duty putty, some of uh, the flat basic areas was padded out with some uh, tank reactive explosive armor to look like something else and some covers and pipe work underneath. Now back into the challenge this build was. The event was an anime con with a large workshop. The challenge was to do it within the time of the event, including the setup on the Friday and a bit afterwards. All you could really use was the kit that you brought that was specified as being your first project and anything else you have at uh, the event being tools, paints, what you can buy at the stalls, bits box and all that. Uh, mind you, our workshop is uh, very, very well equipped, so we had uh, quite enough on hand, including uh, airbrushes and uh, sales bits to uh, carry us through. 
everything to this point in the progress has only taken two three hours in between other duties next day i pulled out my king max 12 volt compressor and ophir 0.5 mil airbrush and went to town giving it a coat of Tamiya Primer, uh, looking out for uh, any faults. A couple of uh, nit bits here and there were uh, buffed up a bit. And I presumed to keep uh, airbrushing uh, the kit. I used a range of uh, a few different browns and copper. And on the other side, uh, some SMS uh, silvers, as well as uh, tarnished colored uh, metals. A bit playful in uh, gradients and patterns to have a look like of it uh, rusting underneath that faces you. It's uh, the mud and the dirt appearing like it's on uh, water. And on the other side, uh, it's what you see from the sky, a bit more polished and a uh, metal finish. Uh, the safety ring, I decided that it looked like a donut, as well as some of the other guys, due to the silver top frosting and the underneath uh, brown. Uh, using copper and a fine uh, paintbrush, a uh, little sprinkles were uh, hand painted on and uh, decals applied throughout uh, the ring and uh, the aircraft itself uh, a couple of bits of uh, detail hand painted uh, top coated in gloss and a uh, little bit of uh, matte later on uh, focused in some points and dusted on other areas to allow the metal bit to have a, a bit of shine and the brown bits to be completely matte with uh, frosting and uh, interruptions of the finish for the sake of weathering. A final coat of uh, SMS black wash was applied to pull out the detail. For the figure itself, that was mostly a case of uh, hand painting a uh, primer across just a bikini uh, or sports bra top and uh, bottom then giving that a solid color of uh, khaki uh, allowing that uh, to dry uh, dusted on a bit of a top coat uh, covering both the um, PVC flesh and uh, the top uh, there wasn't any melting of plastic unlike our popular belief of uh, either uh, substances being a soft PVC followed by a final um, amount of uh, black wash applied to the clothing to allow all that mechanical detail to pop. So in what would be about uh, seven hours of uh, very laid back, casual building going to and from the table, uh, this is the finished uh, result. Uh, it was also a figure that I was selling out of my uh, small stall for people to do Mecha Masume customs uh, with uh, multiples. I was able to do a before and after shot. But yeah, this is pretty much my first attempt at a Mecha Masume toy modification project in uh, quite a long time. Uh, there's another one that I finished which a review will be done in the following weeks. And I have to admit that it's very quick, very laid back, very uh, relaxing that uh, the more difficult aspects of modeling such as seam lines and troublesome areas can be avoided as you add as much as you want uh, to the piece as the figure itself is already built, painted and standing there. It's just adding the small accessories and if you like building small guns or attaching small things to it, it could be done very very quickly and in the spirits of the competition of building the first thing you've built and the kit that I failed and did not build right the first time round uh, very happy how it turned out uh, definitely with a vengeance after uh, eight or so years uh, well before the YouTube channel started but uh, definitely happy with the uh, progress uh, she's uh, very cute she's got aspects of uh, being within the military in her clothing as well as the accessory that she's uh, carrying of uh, a flying uh, marine floating device and uh, the aircraft uh, she's got some bombs um, under her arms that she's about to uh, drop uh, there's a few other subtle weapons here and there uh, plenty of uh, decals uh, United States um, Marines or um, Air Force uh, I think it's mostly Marines and a nice little headpiece this uh, definitely concludes this build and video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. We have uh, a series of links in the description section as well as a little touch more information and references from video to video. 
I'm uh, active a few times a week on Facebook with uh, the mirrors of these uh, videos, working progress pictures, events and other interesting things that's happening with the channel and um, probably some shared content that's of useful um, nature in tutorials and whatnot. Uh, we're going down to mostly one video a week but sometimes it's two, uh, check that out and any other outlets that I may be uh, involved with is also linked below. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. If you have any questions, very happy to ask them in the comment section, and I'll catch you guys next time.